Hi everybody, so I've been quite fascinated with these things for quite a while. What these are are hyperbolic cones. You find them in things like wishing wells. You drop the penny in and it spirals round and round and round toward the centre, getting faster and drops through the centre. Now that immediately brought to mind, or at least immediately brought to my mind, the Tesla turbine. Because the Tesla turbine, of course, is a lot of flat discs. You blow the air across the disc, it spirals into the centre, turning the turbine at the same time. They're a little tedious because you've got to get that angle spot on because if you don't get that angle right the air won't spiral and of course it won't turn so there's a lot of mucking around with the angle this seems to form that spiral all by itself by the nature of its shape and it's my guess that if Tesla had a 3d printer and a penny arcade nearer to him it would have looked at that and thought I tell you what rather than all that tedious mucking around with angles of air if I just made a whole bunch of those it would work better easier and perhaps turn faster. So I thought, okay, let's make a Tesla turbine pack out of hyperbolic cones. And we did that. And here's the pack itself. That is just a stack of 10 of these on an axle. Now, of course, in order to turn that into a turbine, what we want is a turbine housing. So, of course, I turned to Tinkercad and I drew up this. Those files are obviously freely available to everybody and the link is in the description if you want to download them and I've printed them off. And this is my turbine housing. What we're going to do is put our pack into that housing and blow on it and see if we can actually get it to turn just by blowing on it. So we've got a couple of bits that we need to glue together. Let's glue those together and that goes on there and then that goes on there and that's our turbine made so let's glue them together and there it is together now we're going to test it with a, a we're going to blow some air on it with the hairdryer and to help that make a connection i'm going to sell tape a balloon on there turn the hairdryer on and then i have a tachometer there's a little bit of silver paper on here so we can actually get a reflection on that and read the speed of it that we can get from a hairdryer now um I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I guess if it does work, then, you know, it's going to be one of those things we'll have to test it with something else. But first of all, let's try it with a hairdryer. No, a thousand RPM <laughs> from a hairdryer. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that. I mean, we got three and a half thousand RPM from a weak airstream blown from a hairdryer directly on it, really, obviously, through the tube and through the slot. But no real effort to maximize that, and yet we're still getting a pretty good result out of it. I mean, obviously. We could do with testing maybe with some pressurized water, maybe with some pressurized air, but an immediate test tells me that this shape is actually better for a Tesla turbine than a flat disc. We certainly got a nicer result out of it in terms of the speed that we could get just by applying a non-pressurized uh, air source. Now, I have put these Tinkercad files up for public. So if you fancy printing it off, giving it a go, maybe making some changes, maybe putting little blades in it like the Phoenix turbine does, something like that. But I'll have a look at that and see how that actually does under a pressurized stream, maybe water. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.